Woody's Chair Shop is one of the oldest ongoing businesses in Mitchell County and has been carried on by the whole Woody family for seven generations. I am a nephew, uh, cousin, that's the business has always been uh, a family for the business. It's not, when I say the seventh generation, it's not the father's son, father's son progression that you kind of think of. Uh, it's always included uh, nieces, nephews, cousins, and it's been a, a you know, family brought over. The Woody family had their start in Virginia. However, North Carolina is where they became a household name. Um, when I say I'm the seventh generation, that's in North Carolina. There were two generations of Woody's before that in Virginia. Um, our names were Woody, and we were known as furniture makers, and that trade has always been carried on uh, in our family. The Woody's first settled in between the Cane Creek area and Grassy Creek, and ultimately chose Grassy Creek to establish their business. For as long as anyone can remember, Woody's Chair Shop has always been here serving the community. Uh, I like the chairs we're sitting in. Uh, these were built in 1972 and serving the, specifically the end here, but all kinds of businesses and households um, is probably our biggest service to the community. Woody's chairs are unlike any other chairs out there. They use a very old technique that uses no glue or nails. And this technique is kept alive by the Woody family. It's uh, uh, technically it's referred to as a green wood chair, where certain components of the chair are, uh, are still green from the tree drying out. And other parts of the chair are, uh, are thoroughly dry, so we need Assemble the chair, which is a pretty tight fit to begin with. The, the relatively green or moist wood continues to dry out and it shrinks and it holds tighter and tighter onto the various pieces of the chair. You almost have to make one chair at a time. Um, it's hard to mass produce chairs using that technique. Woody's chairs are also quite popular outside of North Carolina. Celebrities and even politicians have bought chairs from the Woodies. We've had chairs in the, in the White House. This is a letter from, from uh, President John Kennedy, and he's taken we've made some chairs from him, and that's the original letter. Uh, I've got a letter here from uh, Reverend Billy Graham. However, the Woodies primarily make chairs for those who have a real passion for the craft. It's like I was saying about the customers who come in, and they uh, they come in. They some people they say I've been saving for twenty years, putting dollars in a mason jar. They come by a rocking chair, and they'll put that jar down. And you know, those are the people that we make chairs for. But it's the people that have a genuine, honest enthusiasm for, uh, for our family, our product. Uh, that is probably one of the most endearing things I can think of about uh, the gym business. Unfortunately, the building that you see today in Grassy Creek is no longer operational, having fallen into disrepair. Uh, the current building has, it fell into a state of disrepair and it got to the point where the, the building and the equipment were inefficient and even unsafe to a certain extent. Uh, so we've had to uh, think about moving on from that location and that's kind of where we're at now. But Woody's Chair Shop is alive and well and the craft is alive and well. However, the Woody's are looking to the future and someday we might see a new Woody's Chair Shop open in our community. There's discussions about trying to pool our, our, our equipment, our materials, and even our customers into one, one business. And that's uh, that's uh, been something we're talking about. 
If you would like to learn even more about the Woodies and their craft, the chair shop was featured in Season 1, Episode 3 of Handcrafts in America. Thank you.